Hi everyone, and welcome to CBiz 112. Uh, my name is Iris Kohler. I use she, her pronouns. On my lap is Marley, uh, the little gremlin who you may end up hearing through some of my videos in this class. Um, but yes, welcome to CBiz 112. Uh, we will be talking about the Visual Basic programming language, and I'm very, very excited to teach it. So. In this video, I'm going to very quickly show you how to navigate in Canvas to pretty much the first place that you should go in order to start getting information about the class and, um, you know, start making your way through it. All right, so this is the home page of the course uh, featuring the video that you're watching right now. And if I've set everything up correctly, you should be right here um, watching this video. So what you're going to want to do after this video is complete is head right over to the modules. The modules have all of the information that you could possibly need in order to succeed in this class. You always want to look at the modules. So you can actually access the modules through this modules link on the sidebar here, or you can also click this fancy start here button. Um, I will click modules and that will actually take us to all of these modules of information. So first thing you'll see canvas resources for students. Uh, this has some tips on how to actually use canvas as well as some tips regarding the, uh, Tutoring Center, Writing Center, and the Math Center at Allen Hancock, and a support line if you need help with anything Canvas related that isn't related to this class. Like if you need help logging in or if your Canvas inbox isn't working or anything like that. Now, down here in the helpful resources module, I have some stuff that is relevant to this course. You're not going to need to worry about most of this just yet. Um, probably the most helpful links to you immediately will be this office hours link, which will tell you how to access my office hours and when they are. Um, the student to student questions uh, discussion board, which will allow you to ask your other students, uh, fellow students questions. And then this information about computer access, which, you know, you'll be able to access this page from other areas of the course as well, but it's worth taking a look at all of these. Uh, and then these two pages right here, you don't have to worry about that just yet. All right, so then we come down to the course orientation module, which is the first module where I actually want you to look through everything that's here, starting at this orientation introduction, every module uh, orientation and all the weekly modules are going to have an introduction which will tell you what's going on in that particular module, what's going on in that particular week for the weekly modules. And then, you know, you read through it, you get an expectation of what you're going to get out of it, and then you can click this next button down here, or you can back out and go to the next page right here. And that'll just take you to the next item in the module. Uh, in this case, my contact information. You can feel free to peruse that yourself. But what I want you to do first is to go to modules and to look at everything under course orientation. This is going to give you all of the information you need about the course. What we're going to be covering, I have a schedule of material that we are covering. My grading distribution will be in here, uh, specifically located in the syllabus, which you can get to through this page or this link over here, and so on and so forth. This information is incredibly important, so I highly recommend that you look through everything. Now, once you've looked at the course orientation module, you can come down to week one, uh, starting January 23rd, ending January 29th. And I want you to first look at the introduction. And you'll see all the objectives that I want you to be able to do through 
um, the entirety of week one's material. So you'll read the introduction. Um, then after the introduction is going to be the help board. The help board is where you can ask myself and your classmates for help. Importantly, the help board is where you can get extra credit in this class. Uh, more on that in the syllabus. But the help board right here is a great place to ask any questions that you have come up. Uh, because not only will you be able to get help from me, but you can also possibly get help from your fellow students. And then under here, your tasks, this is everything that you have to complete for this week. So any video lectures that you have to watch, and every week I'll be providing video lectures, all the homework that you have to do. So in this case, we have this introductory forum post right here, uh, installing some programs, getting access to Cengage MindTap, which is the learning platform that we're going to be using. That's the uh, textbook that you probably had to buy. Um, more videos here and then a quiz at the very end. Oh, almost the very end. You'll also be downloading some files. So this is all of your assigned work for the week right here under your tasks. Watching all the videos, uh, participating in any um, forums that I might post here, which I'm probably not going to post any forums as assignments other than, other than this introduce yourself one. Uh, and then uh, it, you know, reading through any pages that I have and completing any assignments that I link to. So that is all that. And once you've finished everything, you can look at the wrap up. It tells you everything that you were able to do, and it gives you a preview of what's happening in the following week. Um, so yeah, if you look through course orientation and then get started, uh, actually going through the week one material, that is going to get you off on the right track for this class. Um, I'll say it right here. I talk about it in the syllabus, but I'll say it up front that this is an asynchronous online class. So we don't meet at all. I don't give you live lectures. I instead provide video lectures and it's going to be up to you to actually go through the modules and look at everything that I provide, because that is fundamentally how you're going to get the material from the class and succeed in it. So it's very important that you stay up to date with all of that. You keep track of all of that. But if you start all of your work early and you do maybe just a little piece at a time, but you make sure that you're at least getting things done early, making progress early on all of your assignments, then you're going to do just fine. So I have full confidence that y'all will be great in this class. I'm looking forward to working with all of you.